the number one secret of Toronto professional real estate investors. Today we're going to talk about how real professional real estate investors invest in Toronto. Hello friends, it's Yossi Kaplan, Toronto real estate agent and mortgage broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And in this video, in today's video, we're going to talk about how professional investors in Toronto invest. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, we've got a lot of tabs to go through here today. I'm going to start right here. So. You, what you got to understand about, about professional real estate investors is they're looking at investor investing not as a short term but as a life goal. It's their life mission. That's what they do. They wake up in the morning for it. They dream about it. They think about it. They work it. They do it. They're in it. They know what they're doing. They're not acting in, in, in rush. They're not running around in uh, standing lines. They know exactly what they're doing. They set the targets, they set the goals, and they go for it. They don't necessarily buy the most expensive, although sometimes they do. They don't necessarily buy the cheapest units, although sometimes they do. The number one secret of professional Toronto real estate investors is, <laughs> drum roll, they invest in value. Value is the key here, my friends. And value can come in many ways and many forms. It could come in floor plan, it can come in building, it can come in design, it can come in price. Very, very loud here today. What can we do? Just boom, but that's the energy. Um, a value is what it's all about. Value could be $1,200 of food, value could be $600 of food, value could be $2,000 of food. In, uh, in my previous video that I've showed you, let's see if I can get there. Not this one. This one maybe. Uh, Let's see if I can get there. In, uh, in the last video I posted, um, it caused a lot of havoc. A lot of people got uh, really curious about it. Obviously, tons and tons of views, and it was heavy reach peak condo in 2020. In some ways, we have reached peak 2020, and that's an excellent thing because that's going to weed out all the weak investors, all the amateur investors, all the mom and pop that don't know what they're doing are going to start thinking twice what they're doing, or they do what they always do, which is, just go where everyone else is going. So you're going to be finding buildings in 2020, in Toronto real estate of 2020, which are 100% investors, and that building, they pay premium price for it, and it's surrounded by other buildings that were built, you know, last year or five years ago or 10 years ago with much, much lesser price because you can buy them in the retail market for a lot less. And the proof is in the pudding. If you go to Toronto, uh, Toronto uh, condos.ca, Okay, the main page will give you the average dollar per foot, and I showed you this thing. Now, the thing about uh, condos.ca is, is their programming is still very wonky. Um, it's only showing you past 14 days, and right now they only got 95 condos. Uh, some days it could be a couple hundred, 300. Um, it's, it's not even, you know, it's not stabilized. So, but nonetheless, it gives you a good idea. So right now, we're basically standing still at 725, exactly the same price of last year. This is according to condos.ca, and the lease is, you know, it's the same, 1.24 to the, if it's not like 5 or 10%, like it's, it's just an error, especially with such a small sample size here. Nonetheless, you can see that the, your average $2,500 for 726 square feet, that puts you at about 4 bucks. okay? Um, here's the sale, that's a little less than, than the downtown average, of course, because outside of the downtown uh, is cheaper. And you know there could be value anywhere. You can you can dive in here, click this, and you can see. And as I showed you, um, and this is this is a rental. I think the the rent the rents have slightly come down in all of Toronto. Uh, and we're gonna go look at the sale. And you can see the sale are seven uh, seven three six dollar a foot, three hundred thirty four sales. So we dropped about twenty bucks a foot. This is for resale. Nonetheless, the new construction is coming up. So how could it be the resale is staying about the same from last year? You know, it's, it's saying that here's uh, November 2019 and here's October, November 2018. It's the same number, okay? It's actually we're a little higher than last year. We're 16 bucket foot higher right now. This can come and go. And, you know, we enter into slow season, November, December. You always see a bit of a down drop. So the moment march comes you know it's a whole other story look at march look at Mar look at april look at march look at a march april march april march april okay so um don't be fooled here my friends uh investors are going after value and what is value value is where 
I can save my money and I can make money, okay? Saving money is one thing, but investing is not about saving. It's about making money with the money that you have. If you're lucky enough, you're making interest on your investment. If you're a really good investor, you're making interest on the interest. And that is the real definition of wealth, my friends. I didn't make it up, but you know, ask Warren Buffett, ask Tony Robbins, ask anyone you want. These guys are, you know, billionaires and, mil and high, high, heavy millionaires. They make in in interest on the interest. So if you have a million dollars making 5% a year, that's 50,000. On that 50,000, could you reinvest that? And that will make you a return. That's the goal, my friends. Once you have the one condo, you get that cash flow, that interest on your investment, if you will. You take that amount and you reinvest it again, and it's literally free money, okay? You haven't had to work for it. But once you generate yourself that cash flow, positive cash flow uh, runner, you know, it just keeps going for you. And that's where you want to be. And that's what um, real investors do. They make money off the money off the money. <laughs> A lot of people stay stuck in, oh, can I afford this condo? Can I afford that condo? Um, you know, uh, here's a great example. Uh, 488 University, fantastic unit. It is a small unit. It's priced just under $1,200 a foot. Uh, we have the keys for it. This unit, in my opinion, could, could be rented, furnished for long term, six months and one year at a time. So it's not an Airbnb. It's not a short term lease because six months is the minimum for what we call a long-term lease. Now you have to check it, of course, with the city rules that change every day, and you have to check it with the condo rule, which is in your condo docs. Nonetheless, 99% of all buildings in Toronto um, have in the condo docs saying six months minimum. So at six months, furnish unit like this, will rent to a doctor, a lawyer, accountant, or a government executive that work in university, because there's nothing for them to rent. And they'll easily pay, in my opinion, $5,000 a month, and then you can make very, very good return and the unit, unit that you buy at 650. Maybe you negotiate to 640, whatever. You know? But that's a great example. And that's uh, just under 1,200 a foot. What's going to happen over 1,500 a foot is those numbers will have to go much, much higher. And we may not be able to reach these numbers unless you put, you're starting to pay more into your deposit. That means that instead of doing the 20%, you're putting 30 or 40% deposit. In that case, you're holding the asset and you, you're still building your cash flow, then you can re take this cash flow because you have this free money, put it into the investment, cash this, take this cash flow and reinvest it. And before you know it, you're reinvesting, the reinvesting, the reinvesting, the reinvesting, and your entire portfolio is running on its own, fueled by its own. And that's the real secret of the rich. That is the real secret of real Toronto professional real estate investors. They make money on the money on the money. The moment they are looking for these high value properties, and they can be at any price, they can be anywhere. We're talking about value. And value is not a number, value is a concept, value is a feel. One value is accumulation of everything together. If you get that, you will do really, really well. 99% of all people do not get it, they just don't. They go condo after condo after condo, which is totally fine, especially if the market's going up. You know, you throw a dart on the map and you're going to be fine. But that's no longer the case. Uh, we have so many new condos introduced to the market. So we have to be very, very careful where we buy, how we buy it, who we buy it with. I mean, there's a lot of people that will get you in buildings. That's totally fine. But you may find yourself in a large development, which is 100% investor owned, which is totally fine if the city can support all the rentals at the rate that you need to get to break even. But it's not fine. It's not fine if there's too many units and everyone's competing for the same customer base, which is your renters or in or uh, the people you're gonna flip to. Okay, so if you're buying to flip, you gotta you gotta be well sure that you can flip that unit and you can close on it if you need. And if you need to close on it, which you should always assume that you close it on the unit you buy, you should also assume that you should be able. You should. Get the condo calculator right here, condocalculator.ca. Put your name, your email, I'm not a robot, and download the spreadsheet. I've shown you many times how to use it. And once you do this, calculate your break-even point. So here's the condo calculator running right here at the condo calculator. And you can, and you can look. Uh, I got your investing strategies, what to do, how many square feet to buy, how many bedrooms you need to buy, like one, two, three bedroom, which area of town, how to break even. This series of videos will really explain to you 
how to start thinking about real estate from a point of real investor and not the point of someone who's like rushing to get something. Now, it is possible that the investor and the person rushing to get something will reach the exact same conclusion. That is a good thing. But 99 out of a, out of 100 cases, you know, the rushing to get something will get anything because I see people buy inside corner units, people buy these narrow units with the kitchens on the side that is very, very hard to use unless they have a special use, like you buy the hospital, which then your tenant, your customer, um, is working 16 hour days, coming home to crash. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's less of, it just doesn't matter because it serves the purpose. But if you're leaving, let's say you're on Queen West or you're in Etobicoke or you're on Young and Eglinton, you want a really good floor plan and and you want a unit that is livable. Remember the three L videos, livable unit you can find in order for that tenant to stay there for many, many years to come. Because my tenants, you know, they stay for years on end and all they do is on the first of the month, they pay me the rent and I take care of them. If anything is broken, I tell them, okay, that's no problem. Black Friday is coming. I know that washing machine has to go. Why don't you guys find a washing machine that you like? It's a reasonable price. You can get it delivered. Here's my credit card. That's how I do it. I never cheap out on my tenants. If anything is fixing, we just get it fixed. Just make sure it's reasonable. And that's it. Okay? Your tenants will stay for four or five years at a time. That is a fantastic investment. You know, it doesn't matter if you get another 100 bucks a month or not. It doesn't matter if you got to pick up another 100 bucks. If you have a tenant that stays four years, they paid so much of your mortgage for you and then they pay all the interest all the condo fees all the municipal taxes they pay for you and whatever is left goes into the capital and the appreciation is in your pocket so you, you gain it twice once you gain it because they're paying your mortgage down and two you're gaining because the property value will go up and property value has to go up because we live in an inflationary economy okay so Galleria, Galleria is a fantastic project. It's well priced. Uh, building two is almost sold out. Um, the values are about a thousand a foot, eleven hundred a foot. Uh, maybe a large one you can find for nine hundred a foot. Uh, those were just snapped by investors so quickly, uh, which is great. Maybe their price is a little too low. I don't know. Uh, a lot of investors absolutely will be a good project. It'll be a fantastic project, but it will be a mini rental block. Uh, unless they start selling more to owner occupied, uh, owner occupied. I'm not sure what their plans are, but it'll be nice to get a mix. You really want to be in a building which is high, high mix. Because once you're in a building and have a high mix, the chances are there's less renters. So any unit that comes on market, you know, if it comes as an investment that you want to buy it and rent it out, there won't be so many of those. So that means there's less renters in the building. So renters want to get in there and willing to pay a little more for it. And it's a stable building because you're not going to see a lot of transiency. People keep on coming in and out. At the same time, the owners, you know, owners don't move that fast. They don't move every year like tenants. It's just, it's just a huge headache. You got to buy, you got to sell, mortgage. So owners will move every three years, every five years, every 10 years. So those are great buildings to buy, and there's huge, huge value in those, okay? So you see where I'm going at here. I'm going about value. Make sure you sign to the newsletter. Make sure you keep in touch because that's where I'm going to send you all the good stuff. You can sign through there. Just click on this button here. You can sign through here. They're all going to end up at the same place. And I've been sending really, really good newsletters and really, really good emails. I don't even talk about them on the videos. I don't show them on the blogs. I just don't. If you took the, the time and effort to sign in, you'll get something that is valuable. And remember, today we're talking about value. And value is the most important thing in life, is the most important thing in investing. Um, here's an example. So this came up, Lakefront Condos. Uh, that's the Loblaws at the bottom of uh, Bathurst and Front. That's been derelict for so, so many years. Finally, it's coming out, uh, looking really good. Uh, but guess what? The prices are crazy. I copied this from somewhere. They even even sent it to me. So I'm not breaking any rules here. Um, if you're looking at 455 square feet in this building on the 32nd floor, um, one bedroom, one bath with a, a, a nice balcony, $625,000, $1,375 a foot. Um, and it actually going up here and the max I see here is uh, unit 4303 very nice I don't know the direction it could I don't know if left means west uh, 485 square feet seven hundred and eighteen thousand dollars fifteen basically fifteen hundred a foot 
that is a very, very high price. You can go in the condo calculator and you can find out how many dollars you're going to need a month to break even on this unit. We're not going to do it today. I've done so many of those. But the point is, once you buy kind of a unit like this, you have to think to yourself, what is the value here? Okay. Uh, you can also see that if you come up 11 stories, assuming they're not skipping uh, you know, the fours, uh, if you come up uh, 11 stories, you got 11,000. So it's a thousand dollar a foot. Is there value in there? 3205, 707, 4305, that's another 11, okay, 11,000. So you can see there's a thousand dollars a foot difference here. I just did it analytically in my mind, just as I record the video, you know. I, I, <clears throat> so you gotta think to yourself, is there value there? What can I do with this unit? How many units will I be surrounded by? And you can always go um, to the site and look just uh, just go to um, any of my sites and just check what's going to happen and what's available for sale in the area. You can do it through torontoconnoisforsale.com, for example. Um, just go on the menu here. Uh, we got all the listings here. Oh, oh, residential search. What am I doing here? Maybe this menu. Ah, I need to go in this menu. Okay, let's go to the bottom menu. And it'll basically open a search for you, and you can start searching here. I'll just start with a general search. Let's see actually if I can search for an area. I think I think this uh, this thing will take an area. King West Street, King West Village, King West Street. So I'm doing an address search here, and just pull some start pulling properties and start looking what is selling for how much. Obviously, you can always call me, email me. Ask me what's going on, but here's a great example here. I really love the uh, the interface here, okay? And you can start seeing what's available for sale, for rent, and start making comparisons to the target property that you want to buy. Now, if you want me to do it for you, I'll do it for you. All you got to do is give me a call, and uh, the red is for sale. The Okay, so there's some houses here. There's some townhouses here. There's some little bit of everything, which is really good. Uh, everything's mixed. Dewar Street, I haven't been there in a while. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff that you can look at, okay? Um, and, and what I want you to do is I want you to start looking at properties and see what's going on and compare them. The second thing you need to do is start thinking in terms of value. And how do you, how do you, how do you think in terms of value? You look at this. For ADH University, I'm on top of the subway on top of the subway, okay, that's uh, called uh, St. Patrick Station, which is Dundas and uh, University. Let's bring the map here. Okay, let's see if I can do Dundas. Dund ah. Okay. Maps. I guess you gotta go to maps. Okay, so we'll go to maps. Computer's a little slow with all the uh, apps running here. Here's the map. Here's M. M is for Metro St. Patrick Station, and you're literally on top of that station. That's the building right here. The residence is a 488 University app. Google's already got it uh, updated, and um, I'll show you something here. Okay, that is what I mean. That is an example of value. Now, value can be in the country too. Value can be anywhere, but it has to be value. Okay, Annex Condos is value. 488 University is value. Being on the subway is absolute value, but you also have to compare where are you, what's around you, and what are you around. Now, I've repeated this before. There's almost nothing going on here in terms of modernized living. Okay, so um, the building is here. The picture may not be updated. Let me see if I can go in, in a 3D. So you see it's still on the construction in the picture, but it is complete and we have picture. And actually, as I was starting to record this uh, video, I got a text from one of the agents asking me if the unit's still available. Um, I have not sold it yet because I wasn't happy with the price. I think this has a lot of value. I like to squeeze as much value as I can for my sellers, just as much as I like to squeeze as much value as I can for the buyers that I represent, okay? But right here, Look at all these, look at all these um, University Avenue, look at all these hospitals. Mount Sinai, Giant, Toronto Rehab, 
uh, UHN, that's, that's the United Health uh, Network, that's the chain of all the hospitals here, not all, but many, okay? There's the sick kids right here. Uh, there's the offices, there's Queen Spark with all the government people, and all along here, okay, people trying to live now, Bay Street is very, very expensive already, and it's well over 1,200 a foot, and it's getting older. So, you know, Murano, Burano, even uh, 1080, uh, 1080 um, the U condos, they're starting to show age, but they're exceptionally, exceptionally uh, expensive, okay? Um, there's so many buildings here. Here's Aura, which is very tall, and you can see the icicles uh, coming out. The, the Toronto Police Headquarters, there's a lot of people here that are making very, very good money, well over 100000 a year, well over 200000 a year on salaries. Okay, These people have good salaries, they're coming in, and they can afford this living. And Young Street, Bay Street, is quickly becoming into these... Um, high value, high net worth individuals living here. You know, the office is uh, Shangri-La is just down the street here, okay, on University. So here's the Shangri-La right here. So the Ritz is nearby. Uh, these are the studio, even the studio buildings, you know, which are your standard condo buildings are very, very expensive. And everything around them is very, very expensive. Here's Theater Park. I mean, these are all 1,200 a foot right now. And they're not on the subway, and they're not brand new, and they don't offer you with 488 offers. So value is here because one is scarcity, okay? There's only one building can be on top of the subway, just the one. Number two is the quality. The quality here is unbelievable. Uh, I think I've shown you pictures in uh, other videos of the unit itself, and I have lots of pictures of the unit. But this is just unbelievable. It's a really nice building. And number three is your proximity to all the people that are making the highest salaries in Ontario. And probably the highest salaries in Toronto are right there. They're in the banking district and they're along university. That's where they are. Wouldn't you like to cater to a person that makes $250,000 a year? It's easy. They're always busy. They're just going to pay you right up front. They probably have their, their assistant to send you the money on the first of the month via Interact Money Transfer. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Now you take that money and you take, it, you take your positive cash flow and you reinvest it. Now you're making money on the money. Okay, take your profit and reinvest it. That is a number one strategy and the only secret of a professional real estate investor. Okay, all they got to do is once they find a good investment and that good investment uh, can be anywhere. And the most important thing is that investment. Where's that thing again? The most important thing is that that investment makes sense. And if it makes sense to you and you, you're realistic and you know what's going on, then other people will probably think like you, okay? Now, you can go with, with a cheaper investment, totally fine. You can buy uh, Hamilton, very good, could be amazing value in Hamilton, you know, in the areas like Ancaster, uh, Guelph Kitchen and Waterloo, I love them. I think there's a lot of value there because a lot of people have been pushed out of the city by these prices and they have to find other places. So it's not all good, it's not all bad. We're going through a change, a change in the system, a change in how we think. And you need to, ca you need to capitalize on that. You need to capitalize on the change, understand where it's going to. Now, let's talk about ANX for a second. Um, what do I got here? How do I do this? This is a new site. I'm still learning how to use it with you. But I love technology and I love providing good information. So today, um, the focus of this video is value. Okay. Now, I've made a whole video about ANX. And ANX is coming at 13 ish 1300 ish dollars a foot to me it's a fantastic value and the reason ANX is a fantastic value because just like 48 University there's nothing around it that qualifies to be even a reasonable living and the second there's nothing even close to it it won't be for years to come on that quality okay so you you want to invest what quality is because that is value you want to invest with the scarcity because that is value that's what the smartest investors do. Um, 
There are units in this building that are absolutely phenomenal. The, the designs, are, I've reviewed it in extensively. Um, it is a very, very good building in my opinion because it's got excellent, excellent, excellent units. It's got really anything you need to succeed as an investor. Yes, it is expensive relatively, but it's, it's actually less expensive Loblaws building. Here's the NX. Um, where's the Loblaws building? ANX is less than this. Think about it. It's ANX is less than this building for price, okay? This building comes to 1500. You can go ANX and get yourself a nice unit for 13, 1400, and you are on DuPont. You are right by the subway, and you are not surrounded by a million other buildings. It doesn't mean this building is not going to be good, but I'm a very, very conservative guy. And I want to make sure that I take the least amount of risk and the most amount of profit possible because that's the game. That's what we do here. So if you're an investor, if you're looking for value, even if you're only investing $100,000, I want to hear from you. If you're investing $200,000, I want to hear from you. Investing $500,000, I want to hear from you. Investing millions of dollars, I want to hear from you. I've done transactions for people who are selling a studio for $300,000 and I've done entire portfolios for people, millions and millions of dollars and they go, Yossi, we have six months and so many millions and we need to generate a portfolio. Go, go on a shopping spree for us. I've done it before. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work because I really wanted to make sure that this person that trusts me will get the absolute maximum return possible. And I deliver it every time because that's what I do. That's how we do it. So ANX, fantastic value in my opinion. Um, just a hundred and some units, okay? Very, very good. If you go to uh, here, first time you haven't so far. Can I move this bubble around? Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. And watch this ANX video because it will really go through everything you need to know, including floor plans and the area and the developer. And I'll, sh I'll show you why are the end prices, and I'll show you. Why I think this is a fantastic investment, and you can still get good investments here. And you know, they're not that expensive relative to others. They are not, and especially if you're looking for a two or three bedroom, I think this is a phenomenal opportunity for you to explore. So the number one secret of successful, the best Toronto real estate investors is to go for value. And value could be, my friends, in the highest price level or the lowest price level in this side of the town or that side of town but you got to bring into and this is something you know artificial intelligence cannot do but Yossi can and you can okay because you got to understand the city you got to understand the social structure here you got to understand traffic you got to understand developer you got to understand what design means to value because some designs obviously succeeds more than others some developers obviously succeed or not obviously succeed more than others some units are People like them best and some people don't. You know, the fact that building is selling out is one thing. It's because there's just nothing else. All this money has to go somewhere. But how much money will be made on the money and how much money will be made on the money on the money? That is the question. So, if you haven't subscribed so far, please do. If you made it to the end of the video, put 1% at the bottom and I'll send you a link on your comment. Just comment 1%. If you want to ask a question, ask a question. If you want my help, opinion about how much your existing uh, condo or assignment is worth, um, or your house, or your property, I'll let you know. It's just got to be in Ontario, because I'm licensed in Ontario. I cannot comment on anywhere out of Ontario, but Ontario, especially, obviously, G the expanded GTA. That's where I am. I will help you. If you just want to ask a question, put it in the comment. Good enough for today. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, put a comment, share. That's it.